Hi Sagittarius, I'm Jennifer Angel, these are your stars. Now Mars moves into your sign at the end of this week. So Mars is the planet of, you know, assertive action. Um, but of course as all planets are all things, uh, there's always a positive and a negative. So, you know, Mars can be aggressive. It's also known as the war planet, but it can also, but it can be very productive and, um, you know, give you the ambition to really just get out there and move forward with things that you want the most in life. So if, if you can work with that side of Mars, then it's a very, very good energy for you. Now there's quite a lot, particularly at the moment Sagittarius, there's quite a lot of activity um, in your solar 12th house. So this is going to give you the opportunity to really think through what it is that you want and start to and start to um, reevaluate your your own personal values. I mean it doesn't mean to say that you uh, you know are going to take a you know, 180 degree turn on things. But, you know, as we grow, learn and evolve, I mean, our, our values and our belief system also um, grows and, and learns and um, evolves. So you want to keep up with that. So with Saturn moving in for a couple of years, stay into your solid 12th house, this really allows you to get a serious, like your head out of the cloud, feet on the ground, serious about what it is that you want to build in your life and, um, and, and to be able to actually see it coming to fruition and, and not like to be airy-fairy. Like, so it gives you the opportunity to start setting the foundations and the foundations first of all are with your attitude, your imagination and your thought process. Okay, your dreams, hopes and wishes. <clears throat> um, so that's, a, you know, a very um, positive time for you. Now Venus is also moving into your solar 10th house this week, early on in the week and it does have a nice favorable connection with Saturn, the planet of um, restructure and business and, and so the people that you meet over this next immediate time. I'm not sure exactly how long um, Venus is staying in that position, but let's say it's three or four weeks. Um, so over this period, the people that you meet are going to help you just to rebuild and just help you move that little bit, you know, closer to your goals. There'll be more influential people who can have like a, um, a significant bearing or role to play in your, you know, career and your whole purpose of life. So, uh, you know, that's positive. Now in your solar seventh house of area of love, romance, relationships, partnerships, Jupiter is going retrograde this week. Let's see when it is on the 5th, so the end of the week on the Friday. Um, so, you know, things there is also on the 6th a um, minor square with um, um, planet of communication, Mercury. I just totally forgot what the planet was called then. <laughs> and uh, Jupiter. And Mercury at that time is going to be in your solar fifth house. So it's almost like the reality of a situation or some home truths can be, you know, brought out of the open, which is going to allow you to make a, your decision or your intentions known from a much stronger knowledge base, okay? All right, have a great week. Sagittarius, I'm Jennifer Angel. Thanks for watching.